We're at historic Maya restaurant in Midtown Charlottesville with Peter Castiglione, one of our favorite restaurants without question in this wonderful Charlottesville culinary landscape. And I'll tell you, Maya restaurant, six years and counting, Peter, you guys have done a phenomenal job of, of just featuring a fresh, delicious, simple, local menu that I think very quickly has been woven into the fabric of our, our Charlottesville food culture. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. Uh... We've strived very hard to uh, support local and to become part of the local scene. Real happy with the way Midtown's coming. Um, seems like every other day there's a new restaurant, uh, new street lights, new parking, new buildings. Uh, it's an up and coming area. We're really psyched about that. You know, we got to highlight there because I think one of the reasons Midtown is so vibrant and it's so, you know, it's really come to life. Um, is, is a lot to do with Maya restaurant. Um, you guys said, look, this is going to be our home. You own this building. We know you're going to be here for a while. We're seeing the businesses kind of really come to life and connecting downtown to the corner. You got to get a lot of credit for that. Well, you know, we like to think um, a consistent product and um, a consistent staff goes a long way over time. Uh, most of our staff's been with us since we've opened a lot of them. Um, we don't have a lot of turnover. Um, and that that builds relationships, and relationships uh, make for good business. And that's exciting because you as a business owner, um, you've met a lot of people that you now can call friends, and you've done it while working your business here in the restaurant. Yeah, I'll be honest, um, it's a tough business. Um, seven days a week, um, late hours. Um, one of the big benefits is the fact that you meet so many people and so many people become friends, if not family. Sure, and, and one thing Maya Restaurant does tremendously well is they highlight the local music and art scene. And, and you've seen this certainly um, through this um, through this story we're telling here, but you come here on a Friday night, you come here on a Saturday night, you come here after the Dave Matthew Show, Joe Lawler. It's just fantastic what you've done with the music and art scene as well, Peter. Well, um, Charlottesville's a great town for that. Um, artists everywhere, both music and um, all kinds of media art. So we usually have two artists that we hang in the restaurant, one upstairs and one on the main floor, all the time, always local. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do live music several times a month, sometimes several times a week, just depends on the season. Mm -hmm. We do flamenco on the patio in the summertime. Um, it's nice, so we give them a place to play or display their, uh, their art and we get some great culture. One thing that I love so much about my restaurants is the bar scene. Um, it, it's vibrant, it always seems like something's going on. The happy time, it features delicious snacks at the bar. You're gonna see uh, Mark Dorsey, you're gonna see Ted there as well, Peter. These guys are living legends when it comes to the bar scene in Charlottesville. You know, they've been with us um, since we opened. And having, uh, having good bartenders is so important. A lot of personality. Mark knows a little something about everything, and uh, Ted's like the nicest bartender to ever walk the face of the planet. Well, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, four-time bartender of the year in Charlottesville, uh, Ted? Five, six, I can't keep Seven. straight. Three different restaurants. Uh, yeah, people love him. He's, he's sincere. He is I mean, very sincere. That goes a long way. They do only work six days a week, so on Sundays you might catch Hillary Fox, uh, local singing legend back there. We love the local feel we get as soon as we walk into Maya restaurant. We've talked about it some with Peter. Let's talk about it with the man from behind the house here, the back of the house. Christian Kelly, the executive chef and one of the owners here at Maya restaurant. Here in his restaurant on the second floor with one of the coolest spaces, I think without question, at a restaurant in Charlottesville. And we love it. We love coming here for, for, for $12 Tuesdays. We love coming here, the bar scene. Um, enjoyed getting to know Ted, your bartender, and some of the guys here. This restaurant, your restaurant, very much, Christian, epitomizes a local feel. Yeah, well, um, thanks very much for, for saying so. I think that uh, having a staff that sticks around uh, and becomes part of the local landscape on, on West Main Street is, is really important. Uh, celebrating uh, our local <clears throat> farmers um, is just it's uh, the best of uh, the best of both worlds really uh, being able to play with food and play with food that's uh, you know grown right here in, in Virginia is a really important uh, really important fact for us um, when I walk in the doors at Maya restaurant and you know I've come here for dinners and it's the same thing that's been said it's a community you yeah. feel it right away the sense of communal spirit from the staff front of the house back of the house yourself and Peter Put that in perspective for us. You know, it's really, uh, Peter sort of nailed it um, when he said that, um, you know, we build relationships. And for me, in the kitchen, as the chef, 
um, building relationships with the farmers, the people that grow and raise our food, uh, is really an important part um, of what we do. Um, and Charlottesville is such a great community for the arts, for they're all about the local war scene here. Um, it's you know the latest and greatest trend, and Charlottesville has totally embraced that. Um, and I think that it's just a you know uh, knowing where your food comes from is kind of cool. It's you know so cool. it's one of the um, it's one of the greatest parts of the local food scene that's happening right now. And it's a great way to celebrate diversity. Really, I mean, what better way to to celebrate um, Mother Nature in all four seasons than to just serve the food that is being provided and harvested in that season? Uh, we've done a lot to. Uh, promote a really simple, simplistic menu. Uh, we don't need to do much to showcase local flavor and local freshness in our product. Um, final one for you, Christian Kelly, owner here and, and, and chef at Meyer Restaurant. Catering is something that I could see blown up. I mean, if we can love Absolutely. the food here at the restaurant, Absolutely. why can't we love the food at the tailgate? That's right, that's that's a good point. Tailgate's a huge, huge part of the catering business here. Uh, we do full service catering. Uh, no party too small or too large. We do, we do everything. We specialize in uh, weddings, actually, is a huge part of what we do, uh, off-premise catering. You can find Maya Restaurant online. You can certainly find them on Facebook, of course, in Midtown Charlottesville. Think about Maya Restaurant for your next wedding, your next event, any kind of catering function. Christian, thank you so much for the thank time. You, it's great to be with you guys here at Maya Restaurant in Midtown Charlottesville. Yeah.